Hello. Well, today I'm going to take a little bit of a break from uh, putting in more grasses and bushes and stuff like that on the scenery here. And I'm going to digress and put my road in and parking lot for my little excursion train stop there, my little excursion train station. And I'm going to bring a road in here and then run it alongside the track in front of the mountains here then end up right over here with a parking lot in this area and uh, I don't think there'll be, yeah, there won't be any parking back there, there's no way to get around but uh, anyway um, I was thinking I'd maybe gotten a little ahead of myself by putting all this dirt in but then um, I thought well give me a chance to try something different because what I'm going to do is take this screwdriver and just basically carve out the road, dig all the dirt out, and then let the banks of the dirt act as my form. Uh, it's not going to be, um, the curving on the road isn't going to be regular, it's going to be a very rough road, and that's actually kind of what I want it to be. It's going to be a very backwoodsy, not terribly maintained, well-maintained road. I mean, this is probably not the wealthiest um, excursion train outfit in the whole universe, so uh, <laughs> I think this will actually work to my benefit. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on. And uh, actually, it's kind of convenient letting the dirt be the form because then I don't have to mess with tacking down these little strips of wood. And it's kind of a pain to do. So and I'll just fill in the pavement with a very thin mix of uh, black acrylic paint and um, Durham's water putty. And that should dry up nice and hard. And if it cracks, then that's great because I want it road that's a little cracked so uh, anyway that's what's on the plan today yeah what I'm gonna do is score around the station Dig the dirt out around here, and this will set right on top of the pavement there, and then I'll backfill it with some grasses and dirt. But uh, the parking lot's going to be fairly roughly shaped too, and here is going to be a, a ramp going out to there, so I might have to bring this road out a little bit more, give more room for a, a ramp, a little bit longer ramp. Okay, well, I've got my road pretty much gouged out, and it's going to be kind of a nary rough. Uh, it's going to be kind of a narrow rough and kind of a scary road to drive on. <coughs> Suitable for only the most die-hard of uh, rail fanners out there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mix up my water putty, put some black acrylic paint, put a thin mix, and just fill it in and let it spread out <coughs> where it was going to spread out okay and that'll be my road and my parking lot so let me go ahead and get that mix ready 
All right, I have to go on a quick Menards run. I didn't realize they didn't have, didn't have enough water putty to do this, so. But I got some more and I'm ready to continue on with this. Uh, black acrylic paint. A little bit of water, probably more than I, actually more than I need, but uh, probably have too much to not enough. Thin mix. Take a while to take a little bit longer to set up and dry. That's fine. We'll start coloring this. this is going to work. There's a bulging I have here at the side that's going to, it's all going to get covered over with a little bit of scenery, a little bit of grass kind of growing on the pavement. Yeah. I think it'll look like it'll be a thoroughly crappy old back road to get the excursion train seen. So, uh, this fits the bill pretty nicely. It's all said and done. Okay, I've had this road dry some, and I think it's dried to a nice color. Not only uh, an even tone to show different uh, wear on it, but also fairly uneven too, fairly lumpy. And in some of the deeper ruts, I plan on making some darker colored water putty and basically making patches here and there to look like it's all um, patched up. So that'll be what comes next and then also I'm gonna actually uh, make some small forms here and here to get the pavement to go up to the uh, edge of the track so it'll be among my next steps here. Um, then after that I might lay down some grass along here then again I might just wait some with doing any more scenicing here because I uh, think I want to get uh, all this back stuff here scenic first so I'm not reaching over any um, or trying to keep from reaching over any finished areas as much as possible I'm probably a uh, ballast the track too while I'm at it up here so uh, anyway that is going to be next on the agenda <laughs> <laughs> 